Hey. Sir, requesting permission to post colors. Post the colors. Colors, post. Please join with me in the Pledge of Allegiance. And I'm sorry, in military uniform, you stand at attention. The rest of you may put your, your hand over your heart. Uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Right, face. Hard time, hard. Hard, hard. Thank you, Colonel. Everyone can grab a seat. I want to thank everyone for making time out of their busy schedule to come up here today. We are very honored to have uh, Dr. Dumaresk here, who is our Secretary of Education for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Uh, sure, she's very, very busy, and we appreciate her taking the time to come by and honor us with the academic achievement. Uh, the results that we've been able to achieve here are a direct correlation to our efforts of our professional staff, of our wonderful students, and of our parents and great Wilson community. And at this time, I'd like to ask Dr. Dumaresk to come up to the podium. Thank you very much, Dr. Rudy, and good afternoon. Um, I'd like to first of all thank you very much for having me here today. This is uh, probably one of the best things I get to do is to come out and visit uh, Pennsylvania Public Schools. And it's really wonderful to be here to celebrate with you today uh, and to celebrate academic excellence. Uh, we've been uh, going across the state visiting schools that have attained a 90 or higher in the 2012-13 school performance profile. And Wilson School District is the kind of school district we point to when people say, where are great things happening in Pennsylvania in our public schools? Pennsylvania students, including the students right here, are getting ready to change the world. This is a result of quality teachers, quality leaders, support staff, parents, and communities. And we're here today to highlight three such schools that are succeeding. To be recognized again for excellence, a school needs to score a 90% or higher on the school performance profile, and that is very difficult to do. Wilson School District has three schools that have reached this goal. Cornwell Terrace Elementary School, a Title I school with a 95.3% score, the highest in the district and tying for the highest among the 102 schools in Berks County. Wilson Area High School with a 95.2, the second highest in the district and in Berks County. And Shiloh Elementary School, again, a Title I school with 94.8, the third highest in the district in Berks County. And I have to just tell you that I looked at the scores of your other schools and they're so close, <laughs> so close. What a wonderful, wonderful school district. I hope students that you take a moment to congratulate yourselves Thank the citizens of the local, through your local community, through the elected school board, for the investment that they've made in your schools. Please thank your parents, because they were your first teachers, for giving you the support that you need to succeed. And it's important that students are ready for success in life. And it's through hard work and dedication of the people that I've mentioned that you, you will be ready upon graduation day, which I know for some of you seems a long way off. Public schools have a great history in Pennsylvania, and they have given us the men and women who have shaped our history. And with scores like here, like that in Wilson, you're going to be shaping the future also. I'd like to congratulate each one of you, to the students for all of your hard work, to the parents for all your support, to the citizens and the school board members for theirs, and especially for the leadership of the educators here. And I wish you all the best. So we're ready to present the banners. And something that I would like to mention and reiterate that um, our secretary just had mentioned is we are, we are the benefactors of an excellent school board. We have some school board members here today, Bob Metzger and Carol Reed were able to participate in person. 
but uh, we are very blessed with a, a school board that has just been tremendous for our district and community, and I want to highlight them as well. At this time, we would like to invite up uh, some representatives from each of our schools. First, we will start with Cornwall Terrace Elementary. Our Cornwall Terrace Elementary principal is Jen Diana, and she'll be represented today by Dr. Steve Burnham. Come up at this time, students and staff. Next, we would like to recognize our high school program. Our high school program is under the leadership of Principal George Fiore. He has an excellent administrative team as well as a professional staff. And we'd like to invite everyone of our members that are here from the high school team to please come up at this time and receive this award. And lastly, I would like to ask our Shiloh Hills representatives to come up at this time. Shiloh Hills is under the leadership of Principal Matt Flannery. And in closing, I would like to say that, again, we are just feel so fortunate and so blessed to have the community that we are engaged with every single day, our wonderful professional staff. And we know that it's not any one thing that allows us to achieve our results. It's a combination of a wonderful academic program, a wonderful extracurricular program, and the great individuals we get to work with on a daily basis. I would like to again thank Dr. Dumaresk and PDE for taking the time to visit us and honor us, and we are very appreciative of their efforts. And I am, as the superintendent, I'm awful proud of everyone here in the Wilson School District and wish us all continued success. Thank you. <laughs>